There you go, chicken spirito. With People avocado. walk past the truck, and whether I can hear them or not, I can see their lips, and they're saying spirito. And it's really cool because it gets their attention. It's like an Asian burrito. I don't know what to compare it to, but they're their own little thing. Some people have traveled an hour or more to come and eat our food. I didn't know what to expect. I mean, I think burrito. I know they're Australian, but it's like a very big spring roll from a Vietnamese restaurant. She has been talking about it <laughs> non-stop. She keeps, like, bringing it up. I honestly do believe we are the first person to do a rice paper wrap burrito sized hybrid like this. It just all goes together really well. A refreshing but fulfilling bite. First order of the day. A burrito is what we call a fresh spring roll burrito. It's a word that we kind of made up. This is the fun part. It's wrapped in rice paper and filled with fresh vegetables, really good proteins, like slow cooked pork, grilled chicken, and a lot of Southeast Asian and Asian inspired flavors, pork burrito. The flavors go together really well and it doesn't feel as heavy and it's fantastic. It all started in Australia back in 2016 with an obsession with fresh spring rolls having a, a Korean mother and an Australian dad kind of had that Asian fusion of flavors in the household. Do you want to add um, any avocado to that? That fusion and that introduction to those fresh flavors definitely got the ball rolling on this business. We cook our pork overnight, put it in the night before, pick it out in the morning, marinate it, and then serve it fresh on a burrito. I can't say I'm some sort of chef with like a broad range of skills, but when it comes to this food and these flavors, I'll knock it out of the park with that. It just tastes great. Left working an office job and started this business as a pop-up at farmer's markets. I thought to myself, if people are making sushi into burritos, if people are doing pho and ramen in burritos, why not try to make a burrito sized fresh spring roll. You don't feel disgusting after you eat it. And you're full but not like sluggish. Decided to move to Philadelphia and the next progression from a food stall was to do a food truck. And since 2017 we've been taking this food truck around Philadelphia and New York and New Jersey. Have a good day. But there definitely is a method to eating a burrito. It's really important it's cut in half so you can see everything inside and I think that's part of the thrill of getting a burrito. They're messy. They get all over your hands. It's worth it. Eat a crossways. There's no point taking a bite out of the bottom. There's no point taking a bite out of the side. You have to put a bit of sauce on each bite so you can get absolute perfection. I think I'm just going to go for it, take a big bite, see what happens.